Minnesota high school sports are forced to wrap up tonight after Minnesota Governor Tim Walz issued an executive order earlier this week. Teams across the state scrambled to move games scheduled for Saturday to Friday to have at least one more chance to play under the Friday night lights. Moorhead and Alexandria meeting for the second time this season. Spuds a winner back in October. First play of the game for the for Moorhead's offense. A sign of things to come. Trey Feeney connects with Brady Walthall 30 yards for the score. Spuds tie it up 7-7. Later in the first after a Spuds interception, Feeney to Jaque Fitzpatrick makes it a 14-7 lead less than five minutes in. Alexandria comes back with an answer here and they do so with the trick play. Wide receiver pass sees Will Height get behind the Spuds defense and he wins the race to the goal line 51 yards on the touchdown. Now it's 14-7. But Moorhead claims the advantage just over two minutes later. Feeney's third passing touchdown of the first quarter, this time to Blake Walthall. Feeney finishes with seven passing touchdowns and adds two more on the ground, an exclamation point for the final game of the season. The Spuds win it 63-7 to to finish the season undefeated. Bemidji with the win as well. They should be meeting the Spuds for a section championship next week. In 3A football, Dilworth Glendon Felton logs the 27 point shutout over Pequot Lakes, a 6 0 season for the Rebels. To Barnesville, the Trojans hosting Warriors from War Road. First quarter, Barnesville inside the 10 yard line. Toss play goes to Aaron Seifert. He bowls his way into the end zone. PAT's no good at 6 0 Trojans. Just a few minutes later, Barnesville again on the doorstep. This time, Adam Tonsfeld keeps it himself and in for the score. It's 12 0 after another failed PAT. Still in the first, Barnesville again with the ball. Tonsfeld will call his own number once again, just gashing through the line. 24-yard touchdown run, 20-0 Trojans after the two-point try. Trojans take the 41-8 final, while Pelican Rapids wins on the other half of the bracket, 40 to 14 over Holly in single A football. The Cowboys win a busy one in Breckenridge 49 30 over Ottertail Central and 6 1 record for the Cowboys this season. And finally, from some nine man action, Section 8 Badger Greenbush Middle River defeats Goodridge Grigla 30 to 16. And in Section 6, Park Christian edges out Black Duck 7 to 6. In North Dakota High School State Volleyball Tournament rolled on with day two of action, a spot in the state championship on the line tonight. West Fargo Packers, the one seed from Class A East, taking on Jamestown Packers up one set as we open the second now. Maddie Waldera sets up Nadia Fiakuski on the near side, and she puts it in open space as they open up with another big lead. Packers working the middle as well. Chloe Fow up with the nasty kill, a 12-point Packers lead. Blue Jays start to chip away at that lead, though. A nice backcourt dig gets things moving. They'll set up Hunter Peterson for the touch, and Jamestown is back in base business, but West Fargo never relinquishes the lead. Foul to Aaron Binstock on the outside for a set point and a two-set Packer lead, and the Packers advance with a third-set win, 25-19. They'll see Bismarck Century in the championship. The Patriots carrying an undefeated season into the championship with a 3-0 win over Fargo Davies earlier today. In Class B, number one seed Linton HMB with a one-set lead over five-seed Northern Cass. Tied here early in the second, Lions with the serve, and the Jaguars take it right back. Three touches connect as Jenna Maker is up, drops the kill behind the front line, and Northern Cass has the lead. Lions battle back and take the lead here themselves as they work it across the court. Emily Kelsch sends it back near side with the cross-court kill. Litton HMB will build a hefty lead, but Northern Cass starts to close up that gap. A textbook kill there from Morgan Nelson on the outside. Jaguars within seven, but the Lions finish strong. Set point, Gracie Schumacher with the back set. Kim Gefro up for the hit and the set. It's 25-17. The Lions will see Langdon area Edmore Munich in the championship. Cardinals upset second seed Thompson today in just three sets. What a game for that uh, Feeney and uh, Moorhead tonight. He's just a junior too, Mike. We have so much more good football ahead of us hoping, maybe crossing your fingers, they can get one more game out of it and finish up their sections. If not, looking forward to a lot of really good football next year as well. Thanks, Beth. Still to come.